10 Vintage Louis Vuitton Bags That Are Worth the Investment. Welcome to Luxify, we talk about fashion, luxury and basically all the best things life has to offer. Welcome to our video listing 10 vintage Louis Vuitton bags that are worth the investment. Louis Vuitton is one of the most beloved luxury houses in the world, and their bags are some of the most popular. The brand launched their first handbag in 1930, and since then they have designed some of the most recognizable and classic bags ever. In such a long history, the brand has launched some beautiful bags that have since been discontinued, and here I'll show you the most amazing ones. Here you'll see vintage Louis Vuitton bags that are worth investing in, whether it be because they are iconic and timeless styles, or because they are going up in value on the resale market. In the vintage market, you can find beautiful bags for more affordable prices, not to mention it is a more sustainable way of buying luxury. At the end of the video, there is a bonus fact about one of the most classic Louis Vuitton bags. So without further ado, here are 10 vintage Louis Vuitton bags that are worth the investment. If you are new here, welcome! Be sure to subscribe and check out my new website, luxify.com. Number 10. Louis Vuitton Looping Bag A timeless and minimalist bag, the looping is one of the best everyday bags ever designed by the brand. The bag was launched in 2002 and owes its name to the looped top handle, made in faqueta leather. The bag came in both a tote and a shoulder bag variation, all of the iconic coated monochrome canvas. The simple nature of this bag makes it so versatile and guarantees you'll be wearing on repeat. 20 years after its launch, the bag is now a sort of their style on the resale market, and is a bag you'll be wearing for many years to come. Number 9. Louis Vuitton Cherry Blossom Bag Born out of the collaboration between Louis Vuitton and Japanese artist Takashi Murakami, the Cherry Blossom collection was inspired by the artist's desire to give some freshness and cheerfulness to the iconic monogram pattern. Takashi Murakami's cherry blossom flower became a hallmark of his work, representing Murakami's Japanese heritage and resembles the kawaii pop art style he was known for. The cherry blossom collection featured the LV logo print with the flower design, featuring a tiny, smiley face at the center. The most famous bags from this collection are the pochette and the papillon tote. Any of them are worth the investment, but if I had to choose one, I would say the pochette is the most in demand. Number 8. Louis Vuitton Delightful Tote Launched in 2010 as part of the pre-fall collection, the delightful bag is the perfect everyday carry-all. It was considered a great alternative to the Neverfull because of its roomy interior, until it was discontinued in 2017. The bag featured a striped lining interior, a D-ring and golden brass hardware details. When it was discontinued, the bag was replaced by a similar model, called a Graceful, that is still available today. A minimalist and practical tote, the Delightful is a favorite on the resale market and usually comes in good conditions, due to the quality of the leather and hardware. Number 7. Louis Vuitton Trouville Bag One of the most popular Louis Vuitton bags from the early 2000s, the Trouville is an icon. With a vanity case shape, two top handles and a detachable crossbody strap, this bag is stylish and versatile, it is very light and can fit all your daily essentials. The brand described this bag as a smaller version of the Delphi Vanity case. The bag had a washable interior, several inside pockets, and came in the classic monogram canvas or in the multicolor one. Despite being discontinued more than 10 years ago, the Trovi remains a favorite of fashionistas worldwide. Number 6. Louis Vuitton Tivoli Bag Another it bag of white 2K, the Tivoli was launched in the year 2000 and was discontinued in 2014. A truly feminine design, the Tivoli was available in the PM and GM sizes, in the classic LV monogram. The bag is named after the Italian town of Tivoli, not far from Rome and known for its rich history and fantastic views. The bag is stylish, feminine and chic, it's a bag you can wear for any occasion for many years to come. If you are enjoying this video so far, please subscribe to my channel, so I can continue to bring you the best content about fashion and luxury living. Number 5. Louis Vuitton Watercolor Bags Renowned for his art and photography, Richard Prince collaborated with Marc Jacobs on his Spring 2008 collection, with the intention of showing Louis Vuitton after dark. His most notable design is perhaps the aquarelle monogram, which turned the classic print into a watercolor dream. The Speedy 30 depicting Prince's watercolor monogram is undoubtedly one of the rarest, most special speedies ever launched. 
It features soft pastel watercolors printed over the classic monogram, giving it an effortless, beautiful appearance. Prince is also known for his jokes bags, in which he used cheeky phrases to decorate a new iteration of the monogram print, covered in clouds of blended color. The collaboration between Prince and Louis Vuitton is regarded as one of the most iconic collaborations of all time, and the bags from this collection are always worth the investment. Number 4. Louis Vuitton Graffiti Bags in 2001, Marc Jacobs and Steven Sprouse designed a collection of limited edition bags with graffiti over Louis Vuitton's classic monogram pattern. The idea for the collaboration came from seeing a layer of black paint on a monogram trunk at actress-singer Charlotte Gainsbourg's Paris apartment. The graffiti pattern was added to the Louis Vuitton monogram speedy, Kipo, Alma and Pochetta Cesfaz in white, green and orange. Jacobs paid tribute to Sprouse in 2009 for a limited edition collection of bags and accessories with large roses over the classic monochrome pattern, which was based on a sketch by the artist during their first collaboration. Louis Vuitton Steven Sprouse bags remain highly sought after in the resale market and continue to sell for multiple times their original retail price. Number 3. Louis Vuitton Cossa Bag this year, half moon shapes or Cossa bags are having a resurgence, but the Louis Vuitton Cossa bag was the OG. This continued since its release in 2002, the bags are rare vintage gem to score. Lately, the monogrammed leather bag has been spotted on Bella Hadid's shoulder, making its return in a big way. Recently, Louis Vuitton presented a redesign of the Cossa. Created by Nicolas Gautier for the Cruise 2022 collection, the loop handbag is a half moon baguette, inspired by the Cossa bag from the house archives. The Cossa is an iconic and timeless Louis Vuitton bag that is very popular once more, so you will not regret investing in one. Number 2. Louis Vuitton Multicolor Bags Designed by Marc Jacobs and artist Takashi Murakami, the monogram multicolor collection debuted at the Louis Vuitton Spring Summer 2003 show. It featured 33 different colors and a black and white coated canvas backdrop. Using the colors, Murakami reimagined the brand's classic brown monogram print with vivid color palettes and playfulness. This whimsical and youthful line of bags was described as a monumental marriage between art and business by creative director Mark Jacobs and laid a solid foundation for a later, long-lasting collaboration. The monogram multicolor bags instantly became one of the most sought-after accessories in the world. The handbags were seen on the arms of celebrities like Jessica Simpson, Naomi Campbell and Paris Hilton. With renewed interest in handbags from the 90s and 2000s, Louis Vuitton multicolor bags remain in high demand on the resale market, especially the classic Murakami Speedy bag. Number 1. Louis Vuitton EVA Clutch A very popular style in the 2000s, the EVA was discontinued in 2014, and now it is in high demand once more. The Louis Vuitton EVA is a 3-in-1 design that allows wearers to carry it as a shoulder bag, crossbody or clutch, depending on the occasion. This bag is effortless and stylish. With its baguette silhouette, I can see its Y2K appeal. This was one of the most beloved Louis Vuitton bags of its time, so it came as a big surprise when it was discontinued. A bag that is still chic, elegant and versatile, this is one of the most popular bags in the resale market. According to Rebag, this is the Louis Vuitton bag with the highest retention value, selling for 167% of its original price. Let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite. Comment below which brands you would like to know more about. And for sticking with us this far, here's some bonus information. The Alma is one of the most classic Louis Vuitton bags. This is a classic style from Louis Vuitton. The Alma handbag traces its origins to the Art Deco original, introduced in 1934. Rumor goes that the Alma was originally made for Coco Chanel as a custom order in 1925. Coco gave permission to produce a bag for the public later on. Its unmistakable shape makes this compact bag a timeless classic. There are multiple colors and materials you can choose from, as well as sizes, so you can choose to wear this bag as a crossbody or top handle. There is an Alma bag for every taste. The Alma bag was the only non-Chanel bag that Coco Chanel ever carried. If it was good enough for Chanel, it is good enough for me. This Alma BB in the classic Damia print is sold for $1,760. Thank you for spending some time with us, and make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss a video. We return to provide you with the best content about fashion, travel, and luxury living. See you soon!